are here with Studio Pepe, with Chiara and Ariana, also yeah. with Gaia representing AD Italy. I'm here representing Essential Home and we want you to know a little bit uh, better the collection that Studio Pepe designed for us. So Gaia will interview Studio Pepe so we can understand all the concepts uh, behind this beautiful collection. So Gaia, I pass you the word. <laughs> okay, thank you Maria, thank you for having me. Uh, hi girls, uh, so I would start from the uh, inspiration of the collection. I know that you went to Portugal uh, to uh, find your inspiration and to know better the environment when the, uh, the coll collection had to, to, to start. Uh, so my first question is, uh, what do you think Italy and Portugal have in common from a creative and artistic point of view? Uh, yeah, maybe the first time that we went to visit uh, the factory and the brands and so on, we were very um, surprised about the quality of uh, artisanal. So first of all, I would, I would say, uh, you know, the craftsmanship and the handmade, uh, handmade uh, fare, let's say like that. So uh, even because uh, we, re um, we really realized that we could uh, work with so many techniques uh, in uh, one point, let's say. And so we were really inspired uh, for our collection and also we took uh, the chance to uh, use the technique for our products that we already had in mind, uh, have in mind, of course, when we went to visit the factory. But at the same time, uh, we changed a lot, uh, yeah. even because we saw the, the possibilities. Uh, so And also we think that Portugal and Italy has a kind of common background in terms of uh, craft the use of materials and the, the skill, the use of materials like wood and uh, glass and metal. So, so we find a really um, a common background and we were very happy to explore uh, how we could do things, how we could translate into uh, products our ideas. All right, interesting. Also, um, the pieces you designed uh, um, has a strong connection uh, with the architecture that is uh, like a, a reference uh, uh, for you. Uh, both uh, the architecture, both from Milan and uh, from Portugal, from Porto, mm -hmm. I guess. So um, did you have in mind any specific architectural style or any specific monument or, or, or building while you were designing? Or it was more a general inspiration uh, um, mm -hmm. with architecture? Yeah, I would say that it was more, more a general inspiration. Of course, if you look at the pieces that we design, uh, the modernism, uh, you can see, you know, in the pureness uh, and the, some shapes uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the sculpture, some sculptural pieces and also on the material that we choose for our collection. But of course, it, it was just a suggestion because we want to recreate something that uh, glance at that period of time, but at the same time with the modern twist. So, we love the, the 20s, so all the Italian architecture of that time, like uh, uh, the Eur or some uh, Milanese building we deeply inspired us, as well as uh, some uh, Portugal architecture. We went to visit this amazing villa in, uh, in Porto mm -hmm. and uh, we were very impressed by that. Uh, because it recalls the Villa Necchi, which is uh, an architecture that we love. And so it gives us uh, all the fascination about this here, this concept of ele extreme elegance, the use of uh, materials. So it was a very uh, strong um, inspiration to us. Right. You're talking about Terralves, right? Yes, Terralves, <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember yeah. That you are yeah, yeah. our face uh, when we yeah. step in. Uh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I haven't been to Porto, unfortunately, but uh, I hope uh, I will have the chance soon. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
I feel like, like uh, yeah, there's a lot of, of course, as you know, there's a lot of heritage in architecture that we would love to visit uh, more because we were really interested. <laughs> of course. And talking about the past, uh, um, I find it very interesting that uh, uh, the name of uh, each piece uh, is uh, um, connected to a personality, a great personality of the past. So we have uh, uh, Francis Scott Fitzgerald, Ezra Pound, Zelda Fitzgerald. Uh, so I, I was curious to know more about this choice. So how, why did you choose these characters, and um, how did you transfer the, their personalities uh, to the collection? Mm. Uh, we were very, uh, we loved that time, that peculiar period of the year of the um, of the history, uh, which is the twenties, especially in Paris. Uh, 20s, 30s, 40s, all this this, um, this period, and because it was very um, glamorous, but at the same time very uh, modern. Modern. Uh, so uh, the women were very emancipated. Uh, they do parties, artistic um, performance. The literature was at the highest level, as well as art. And they all knew each other and take force from this connection that we had between art and literature. So we like very much this kind of attitude. And so we thought it could be a very interesting inspiration to give a personality to our pieces that are very, uh, they can live by their own, but they are very nice and very uh, interesting also if they are put uh, one next to each other to create a, a real um, interior mood, interior uh, decoration. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Um, also, um, the craftsmanship uh, is a very important uh, uh, thing for you, as we said before. Um, so I would like to know a bit more uh, how was your relationship uh, with uh, uh, the artisans you met in Portugal and the, arti the artisans you, you work with uh, and mm -hmm. so how you develop the, the product together. Yeah, uh, when we were uh, in Portugal, uh, we met in person the artisan. Of course, there are section uh, metals or uh, upholstery or uh, uh, molder metals or wood and so on. So um, we 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 go uh, we went step by step. We were very impressed, uh, especially for the metal part. So that that's why we included in our uh, in our products. And uh, you know, it was very fluid in a way. So since they are a, a very, a very good, uh, they are very, very skilled. Uh, we draw our pieces. We, of course, gave some uh, technical uh, drawings and so on. But you know, the translation was, uh, I said, really easy. So they understand perfectly what we have in mind and uh, what uh, result we want to achieve. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> and talking about, uh, I mean, your collection is inspiring. The very much from the past but also from the the present and the, also the latest trends and the, it, it take, i think it looks also at the future the future trends so i think a, a mix and match is also a, a bit of a trend right now both in terms of uh, mixing different materials as you as you did and uh, different styles as you were saying before so you can mix your pieces uh, with other kind of furniture. Uh, so going back to the materials, uh, mm, how did you find the perfect combination uh, uh, between the, the different textures? Did you have that in mind already or it was a process uh, that you developed uh, while working together with the artisans? But I, I think that in our practice we are very uh, always looking at um, materials, uh, combination, color palette. So we are very used to do that. We are very happy also to do that. It's a, to us, it's a, also kind of a fun to, to mix things, to create new connections. So it comes out very easy, I would say. There, there was a little study 
at the beginning uh, when we went to the artisan we saw the materials but then it uh, flows very naturally yeah we didn't change our mind no. i mean uh, when 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 we choose some uh, stones or finishing of metal and so on we were very you know focused and you know yeah maybe it's one of the first part that comes out in our uh, in our project uh, the material uh, uh, combination i would say and then of course there are also the textiles and the colors uh, that we choose but of course it would be customized uh, in every uh, with every fabrics but we want to add some fresh uh, hints of colors so we choose uh, a palette that uh, starts with uh, turquoise blue uh, grayish and uh, feel the rust uh, orange um, and you know yeah, really hint of colors but more in textile I would say that for us it, um, it, it looks very well with the uh, natural stones like travertine or metal uh, polished uh, in uh, brass uh, sorry my brass natural brass and so on so yeah we we, we, we try to create our own uh, alphabet of materials and colors okay so, so there's that contrast but at the same time they melt together yeah. in a very special way i think yeah thank you yeah, it's, and, uh, yeah I, I i was going to ask you more about the colors because uh, i think they are very uh, sophisticated so i think it's interesting that you chose to to build the the, the pieces with this uh, specific uh, uh, allure uh, that is really really nice and very special um, yeah, please. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, wanted to know, um, I mean, did you imagine these pieces uh, with this, I mean, the color, the colors add some, something, a little something to, to uh, each piece, but you were saying that they can be imagined also in other, uh, in other textures, in other colors, so uh, we can think also about other possibilities uh, for these uh, shapes. Because uh, uh, if you look through the collection, you will see, you will find a sort of fil rouge that is sort of uh, round shapes, uh, really cozy. Yes. Especially in the armchairs, we want to have something very voluptuous, very you know cozy in a way, but elegant. And uh, of course, we choose also the textile, the, the kind of fabrics like velvet or uh, um, uh, wool uh, that is uh, with the text and the texture. Um, of course these kind of shapes that, that in a way for us uh, um, are really pure could change a lot uh, especially with fabrics uh, and the kind of uh, the kind of fabrics that you can choose for example we may i remember that at the beginning we uh, made um, uh, a test with uh, a sort of um, fur <laughs> that was a little I mean, wool very high and so it was really nice also but in the end we choose uh, velvet because it's one of our fabric fabrics and yeah. we, we personally we thought that uh, uh, velvet also the velvet but <laughs> also the boucle <laughs> yeah 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 for the zelda for example yeah. we made it as part of a boucle and uh, yeah you know all fabrics that has uh, a thickness in a way yeah mm -hmm. absolutely and they are also very elegant uh, in the way they look, I think. Yeah. And do but you add just one thing? I also want to, yeah, I just wanted to add one thing uh, that um, unfortunately uh, Studio Pepe didn't have the chance to see it in person and in real life and try, but uh, I can confirm that the collection is. It's, the sofas are really comfortable and I think that the fabrics uh, um, emphasize uh, what you were saying, that it um, provokes uh, the sensation that you really want to sit and you really want to try. Yeah. So, and I think that here, um, so the options that they took uh, really made a difference. Of course, <laughs> I, I look forward to trying them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and do you have a favorite piece in the collection? Uh, one you are more uh, related? I like very much the, the Zelda 
Mm-hmm. Maybe because it's a little bit more iconographic. Yes, it's yeah, but because it's surrounded, it's very feminine. Uh, yeah, so chubby. I like it. Yes, yeah, a little bit chubby. So I like it. That's and also the Beverly and Ernest sculptural pieces because we are in love with all the pieces that can be kind of a sculpture. So. But every piece has a, its own story, so mm. it's like uh, children. <laughs> you can <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, you have the most. Because I imagine. So, um, also, uh, we, we would like to give uh, um, some piece of advice to interior designers uh, who maybe want to use uh, these new pieces in a furniture project. So. Um, do you have any uh, any tips? Uh, do you think they fit uh, in any kind of a home? Uh, and how um, would you mix them uh, in order to create a, a perfect style? So you were saying uh, that a little bit before, but uh, do you have any more uh, advice for interior designers or also for people that just want to, to have one of your pieces uh, in their home? I mean, uh, when we start to think about the the, the, the collection, the whole collection, of course, we we imagine the relationship between uh, the pieces. Or, but at the same time, we want to create something that stands out of, um, alone in a way. So, for sure, I will I will say that you know. I've already said that, but if with the fabrics, with different fabrics, of course, it could change completely the, the feeling of, uh, uh, especially if I think about the Figera sofa or the roof or the cell and so on. But of course, it could be also mixed. The table could be mixed with different uh, kind of chairs. We imagine more, um, you know, um, not, not, let's call it not small, but you know, tiny. <laughs> tiny heavy chairs that are more light not tiny but light but also uh, the Isadora that is more a dining chair so it's more rich and uh, you know more cozy let's go let's mm-hmm. see that but at the same time sir, in my opinion could uh, could um, work very well even with uh, uh, modern pieces much modern pieces more um, you know uh, heritage pieces also yeah. And the other thing, it's very important <clears throat> to think about the palette of color. Mm-hmm. So if we want to be, to, to mix uh, different pieces, different style, it's okay. But it's very important not to have a too uh, big palette of color in order not to create this messy uh, yeah. feel, feeling. Yeah, I think they can also uh, really uh, stand out uh, in a like a neutral palette Mm -hmm. if you choose a piece one of your pieces that it's really with these strong colors really beautiful can be really like become the the protagonist of the the room (laughs) (laughs) okay um thank you i think i've asked all my questions i don't know if you feel like adding something maybe some curiosity something that we haven't said or maybe maria has some other other questions? I to add, I, I think just to, to say something more regarding our visit, uh, it was very, very interesting to, to work with, uh, with them, but especially to go in uh, Porto and to be in that reality, not only the, the factory, not only with the artisans, but also with the city, with the uh, uh, going out, see the, the Villa Serralves, uh, to see exhibitions. So we have a, a deep, uh, short uh, deep. Yes, a short but deep uh, <laughs> uh, take on the city and it was very, very interesting but also very funny. Also yeah. the food are really close Yes, to then we one. remember the food also. <laughs> So we can say that uh, there's a, a great part of this, the soul of uh, mm, Portugal, yeah. Porto, inside the collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. with the Milan. Uh, that was a <laughs> sort of vision for us, you know, to, to make this world uh, that are closer, but a little bit closer. And, uh, it's yeah. really interesting. I like that. I think way. that the uh, connections between uh, the um, points in common about Italy and Portugal they are a lot. I also had a chance to live one year in Italy and I felt like I was at home so I really 
feel like when an Italian comes to Portugal, they uh, feel um, some kinds of similar things about their country. And we also uh, feel the same when we go to Italy and we often say that. So, um, and I'm really yeah. happy to know that you enjoyed uh, yeah. <laughs> We also enjoyed a lot your visit and we can't wait to have you here again when all the situation of yeah. the passes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will come to in that occasion. Yes, okay. We organize <laughs> so <it> together. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. And of course, when we will have the chance to present Studio Pepe at uh, the next fair, Il Salone del Mobile, uh, mm -hmm. let's see if it will happen. But uh, it will be also a pleasure uh, to, um, to make this big presentation <laughs> and to have your beautiful pieces in your city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look forward thank to you. see them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so thank you so much, Al. It was really a pleasure. Uh, I think um, this meeting was really important so our clients and followers can have an idea and get to know you better and so um, that's it we will share this video on our instagram and i'm happy to see the results of this collection but i'm sure that will be wonderful yeah thank you so much for my thank you. We're very happy too <laughs> and uh, yeah Thank, thank you. you so much. Bye. Thank you, bye -bye. Thank you so much, Gaia. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.